Hello. We did it. Uh, let me know how everything sounds and vibes. If I'm too low, let me know. If the game is too loud, let me know. Uh, we're all in this. We're all in this together, baby. Um, I hate troubleshooting audio, but we will do it. Um, uh, there's not a lot of settings here. Um, I'm. This is the first time I've ever booted up the game. We're all on Whooper Watch. We're always on Whooper Watch. Uh, there's no audio settings, as far as I'm aware, in this video game. Um, so, so this is what we got. So if I'm too low, I need to bump myself up. But if the game is too loud, I don't think I can do anything about that. <laughs> uh, okay, hold on. Mm, open volume mixer. All right, well, we'll bump it. We'll bump it down a little bit. We'll bump voice meter up a little bit. Okay, how does that sound? Is that too low now? Have we hit the right have we hit the right threshold? No game sound. Hey, what's going on? Wait, you don't hear any game sound? What the fuck? Uh okay. What about now? Nope. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Hold on. I th I think I know what's going on here. Uh. I love streaming. All right. Let's add audio output. Or let's grab. not the right one uh I need to pull up twitch chat is what I need to do do you still hear sound What the fuck? We'll get there eventually, everybody. That should be sound. You should have sound now. Okay. Now is it too loud or not loud enough? Cool. Okay. First hurdle done. All right, before I begin, I want to explain. I've never played Undertale before. Everyone tells me to play this game. They, they exclaim it is one of the best things ever. Some ground rules. No spoilers. Pop off in the chat when you want to pop off if a scene you like is really cool. Don't do it before the scene comes up. I don't want to see any of that, oh, my favorite scene's coming up. Pop off when the scene happens. We're going to go for a couple hours. I'm not we're not doing a full playthrough right now. This game is like 8 hours. I'm not doing 8 hours. Uh I will do my Sans Undertale impression. I do not know anything about this game. 
I know that there are multiple endings and there's different routes, but that's all I know. I don't know how to get them. I don't know what happens in them. I don't know anything. Legitimately nothing. I know there's a character named Sans Undertale, and that is it. That is all I know about this video game. So we're going to go into that, and we're going to see why people love this thing. And we're going to we're going to just see what happens. Uh whew, okay, I got to name them. Uh Well, do I want to be the fallen human? I guess I'll be the fallen human. Sure. Does everything look good? Uh, let me know if, if I need to adjust visuals or anything. All right, I'm a little I'm a little uh, person. Great. Oh, a flower. Howdy. I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. Hmm. You're new to the underground, aren't you? Golly, you must be so confused. Somebody ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go. Whoa, I'm like a heart. What the fuck? See that heart? That is your soul. The very culmination of your being. Your soul starts off weak, but can grow strong if you gain a lot of LV. Is that love? What's LV stand for? Why look? I'm a true gamer. Why love, of course. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around, get as many as you can. Oh no. You idiot. In this world, it's kill or be killed. Why would anyone pass up on an opportunity like this? Okay. Oh. Okay. This is not what I thought was gonna happen. Oh, I'm fucked. What is happening? Who are you? What a terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Do not be afraid, my child. I am to Toriel? Tor Toriel? Toriel. Caretaker of the ruins. Ruins isn't red. I don't like that. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. Yo, I don't, I'm sorry, I don't trust you after the flower just fucked my day up. The shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with a determination. HP fully restored. Damn, first save, alright. Let's go. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. The ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. I wanted to hit all of those. Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones, both walk not the middle road. Songs of Jam. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones you need to flip. Stay on the path. Okay. Press Z to read signs. Well, uh, I'm playing on controller, so... Uh, idiot. Hmm. 
splendid. I am proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. I feel like this character is going to fucking turn on me too. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for the time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Oh, so shit, it's like conflict mediation. Let's go. Oh god, I accidentally tapped out, sorry. Oh, well I don't want to fight, right? What are my acts? Dummy. Talk. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. Toriel seems happy with you. You won. You earned zero experience and zero gold. There is another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. I tried to compliment it, it didn't understand. The western room is the eastern room's blueprint. Oh, okay, so I think I know this puzzle. So, it's like this, right? It's it's this design is, is the thing, so it's like, uh, so it would be one, two, three, Okay, I got this. Toriel, I got this. Look, move over. Yeah, Toriel, I, I figured it out. Excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Okay, well, I'll walk to the end of the room. my child. Do not worry, I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise, to test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. Oh shit, we're getting a fucking cell phone. Let's go. If you need for, if you have a need for anything, just call. Be good. Alright? Okay. Alright. Ring. Hello, this is Tori. Oh, God. Did you call me already? You just gave me the phone. You have not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good, alright? Playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. HP fully restored. All right, let's save. Yeah, okay. Hey, frog. All right, what do we got here? It says, take one. Take a piece of candy? Yeah, I'll take a piece of candy. You took a piece of candy. Okay, well, we won't take more than one. We're only allowed to take one. I don't want to take more than one. Ribbit, ribbit. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please use some mercy, human. Okay. All right, frog. Let's uh, let's threaten the frog. Yeah, get out of here, frog. 
Oh god, get stay away from these things. Okay, ooh. Threaten the frog. What is oh god. Oh. I'll compliment the frog. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. Okay. Mercy. Sp spare the frog. I mercyed the frog. and approached meekly. Okay. Let's console. Oh. That's so sad. Toriel's calling again. For no reason in particular, which did you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Uh, whew, that's a tough question. I think I prefer butterscotch. Hey, first time chatter, what's going on? Thank you for the Doritos. Let's go. Appreciate it. You do not dislike cinnamon, do you? I know what your preference is, but would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Everyone's vibing. We're playing Undertale for the first time ever. We don't know anything about it. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't want to fight. I wanted to... I wanted to act. I wanted to compliment the frog. We're gonna compliment all the frogs. And then we're gonna... We're gonna spare the frog. I wanted to read the poster. Three out of four gray rocks. Recommend you push them. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's just one of those things that I've always meant to get to and just never did. And now we're now we're getting to it. Damn. Oh, here's the path. Okay. Okay, I see, I see, I see. Okay, so it's, it's like down... Go away. That fourth gray rock is a real problem. So we're going all the way down to like the last one. We're going up and then we're going this way. Oh no, what did I mess up? Oh, I gotta go all the way down on that last one. Whoopsie. Oh wait, no, we gotta we gotta compliment frog A first. That's fine. Yeah, I'm glad you were flattered. That's all I wanted. Oh, there's going to be two frogs jumping at me. Alright, we got to compliment frog B. And then, we'll, and then we'll spare them. They get compliments, though. Okay, we spared the frogs. Okay, okay, let's try this again. So it's like, down... Cross up, cross down all the way. Oh. No, no, no fighting the frogs. Just compliment. We just compliment the frogs here. That's all we're doing. This is a compliment frog run, and then we spare the frog. And then we go up, and then we go up, and we're through. Oh shit! Wait a minute. Three out of four rocks recommend you push them. We did a rock before, and now there's... Oh, gotta compliment the frog. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Uh, we'll console the winds and... Okay, and then we will spare the frog. 
okay. Whoa there, partner. Who said you could push me around? So you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. Hmm. You want me to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? No, no, not that way. Hmm? That was the wrong direction? Okay, I think I got it. Alright, good job, Rock. Proud of you. Was that helpful? It was. Oh, oh, no, no! Hmm. You want me to stay there? You're giving me a real workout. Oh, despair. Despair it. I don't know what that is. I don't want to compliment it. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get your cheese, it fills you with determination. Alrighty. Can I get the cheese? This cheese has been here quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. Can I talk to the mouse? Oh, I hear it. I hear the mouse. Oh, thanks for the follow. How's oh, a ghost? This ghost keeps saying Z out loud, repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Move it with force? No. Am I gonna have to move it with force? Am I gonna have to use force? Oh, this song is uh, very reminiscent of... Um Let's flirt with the ghost. I just weigh you down. No, no, don't cry. Ghost, don't cry. Cheer on the ghost. Really not feeling up to it right now. Sorry. I'm gonna flirt again. Oh, it just, it does the same thing. Okay. Monster doesn't seem to have a sense of humor. Okay. Oh, I don't. I didn't get to spare the ghost. Oh, this isn't looking too good. I'm gonna use the candy. I don't want to threaten it. I'm starting it. Go ahead, do it. Um, let's cheer on it again. Okay, I think cheering is the way to go. Join my party? What a ghost. What a little guy. Come eat food made by spiders for spiders. Oh, oh we gotta go to the spider bake sale. Spider bake sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. Leave 7G in the web. Yeah. Some spiders crawl down to give you a donut. 18G in the web? Yeah. Oh, I don't have enough. Okay. I got a donut, though. Ribbit, ribbit, 
and sigh. My friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing X. That's right, pressing X. Well, at least you'll listen to me. Okay. Ribbit, ribbit. I heard using F4 can make you have a full screen. But what does F4 stand for? Four frogs? I only have seen a maximum of three frogs in this room. This is troubling, to say the least. Ribbit. 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 I have heard you are quite merciful for a human. Surely you know by now a monster wears a yellow name when you can spare. Oh. What do you think of that? Helpful. It is rather helpful. Remember, sparing is just saying you won't fight. Maybe one day, you'll have to do it even if their name isn't yellow. Alright, well that's foreshadowing. Hello? I just realized that it has been a while since I have cleaned up. I was not expecting to accompany so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You could pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday, you might see something you really like. You will want to leave room in your pockets for that. Thanks, Toriel. Oh god. Don't pick on. Oh, I didn't mean to check. Oh, that was not what I wanted to do. No, I'm not picking on you. What's going on? Bow bounty. Thanks for thanks for stopping on by. We're playing Undertale for the first time ever. I don't know anything about this game. No spoilies. Finally, someone gets it. Oh, Luke's is yellow now. Spare. There is just one switch. Oh, 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 wait, no, there was a turnip. I want to get the turnip. Oh, these... Doesn't have a care in the world. Let's talk. Hiya. Oh, we can spare. It. I want the turnip. Oh, it was a vegetoid. Let's talk. Plants can't talk, dummy. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. No! Hell yeah. Stay determined. Alright, let's... Let's go. Oh, I gotta do the ghost thing again. Oh. Oh, that was... That was bad. Okay. Uh, this is a this song's a banger though. Oh, show me the hat again. We get ghost, ghost with a little hat. We got a little ghost, a little ghost with a hat. All right, can we get the big one? Oh no, I only have, I only 
only have 10. I need 18 for that. We'll get a donut, though. Gave you a donut. Alright, we talked to all these frogs already. Yeah, we're gonna be told about company. Um, okay. So the switch is here. Right? No, okay. No, no vegetoid. No vegetoid. Oh, I... Oh. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Don't pick on. We don't pick on. Oops. Five gold. So we're just here. Hmm. I wanna go talk to the ghosty though. I think the ghost is down here. Yeah, let's talk to ghosty. I fell down a hole, now I can't get up. Go on without me. Wait, ghosts can fly, can't they? Oh well. Okay, we got ghosty. Ghosty with cool hat. Spare that one, and then we just like talk to this one. Act. Talk. Hiya. Oh, it's spare already. You won. This is cool, guy. It just went. Yeah, we'll press it. Nothing happened. Okay, I won't. The far door is not an exit. It is simply marks a rotation in perspective. Okay. If you can read this, press the blue switch. Okay. Oh, oh no. Dinner. Dinner. Oh, we can spare one of them. Farmed locally, very locally. Okay, so the way to beat them is dinner and then get the green. Eat your greens. All right, we beat the Vegetoids. Yeah, let's just push the blue switch. So we gotta go push the blue switch. Oh, I did that. If you can read this, press the blue switch. Perspectives were switched. They told me that earlier. I'm worried that I'm not getting experience because I'm s sparing everything and that that is going to make my life more difficult down the line. If you can read this, press the red switch. That is what I'm currently worried about, because I notice I'm still level one and I'm not getting, oh, I didn't mean to do that, fuck. Um, 
I'm assuming I'm not getting experience because I'm not actually killing anything. But I don't know if experience is important. I don't know what leveling up would do. I don't think that's the point of this video game. The way that this game operates, or seemingly operates, it seems like leveling up and killing things is not the answer. Getting gold, that feels more useful, I guess. That looks like the right way to go, so let's go this way. Oh, another frog. Ribbit, ribbit, just between you and me, I saw Toriel come out of here just a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. We're all too intimidated to talk to her. Okay, well, whoa. You found the toy knife. Oh, a city. Alright, I don't think I'm going to be using that toy knife, but I guess I'm glad I have it. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there. I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. I was It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. Do you smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. Oh, so cozy. These books are worn. They must have been read many times. Inside is an old calendar from the beginning of 21X. This music is so good in this game. Yeah, this music is really good. Really, really good. The fire isn't burning hot, just pleasantly warm. You could put your hand inside. Well, don't do that, child. It's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier and feel fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked, until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named Home. As great as our king is, he is pretty lousy at names. Seems like the right size for Toriel. For some reason, there's a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. There's some white fur stuck in the drain. Oh no. Oh no, that doesn't sound good. What a nice smell. Too hot to eat though. The stovetop is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. Inside the cupboard are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. It's such a cozy little, like, house theme. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. A box of kids' shoes in disparity of sizes. Oh, oh no. Why do I feel like Toriel's gonna eat me? Be sure to look in the mirror. There, there's no mirror. You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Look at these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. 
Oh, this is this a mirror? Where's the mirror? Was there a mirror in my room that I missed? I thought that was in the hallway, but I might be forgetting. Okay. Well, if we find a mirror, we'll, we'll take a look at it. Oh, this, this looks like the mirror. It's you. It's you. It's Toriel's diary. Read the circle passage. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. Oh no, it's a book of puns. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of similar caliber. Oh god, Toriel's one of those. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open to the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods. Known more commonly as wa <laughs> water sausages? You peek inside. Scandalous. It's Toriel's sock drawer. Definitely bigger than a twin size bed. Room under renovations. Inside the drawer are flower seeds and some broken crayons. feels bad. I think you should play upstairs instead. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. What is down there? Up already, I see? Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I have also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? When can I go home? What? This, this is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I am reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Um, how about an exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails talk? Really? Slowly? Just kidding. Snails don't talk. Interesting. I have to do something. Stay here. There's some, there's some shit going on. I'm going back to that tunnel. I need to know. to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins, a one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Now we're going to follow. We're going to go down this ominous hallway. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again. And again, they come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, as gore, will kill you. Hey, Dan Snacks, thank you with the Prime sub. Appreciate it. We're playing Undertale for the first time ever. I know nothing about this video game other than people really like it. As gore will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? go to your room. Now nah, we're going down this hallway. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. No, we're, we're, we're going. We're a naive child. We're fucking going. You want to leave so badly? Hmm. You are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Oh, 
talk. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. What? I can think of like a million conversation topics. You tried to think of something to say again, but... Ironically, talking does not seem to be the solution to this situation. I'm not gonna fight Toriel. I'm gonna keep talking. Oh, th this is the game being straight up like, no, you cannot talk to me way out of this situation. Oh, I died. Fuck. Oh, no. When was the last time I saved? Oh, I didn't know I was gonna do that much damage. the whole house stuff over again. I will never forget what the frogs told me. That sometimes you can spare. Oh, God. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta use all my options first, though, you know? Okay, we can, we can kind of rush a little bit through this. Okay, go to sleep. I'll wake up, eat the pie. I gotta, I gotta exhaust all my options before I do anything else. that don't have yellow names. Enemies with yellow names you can spare. Okay, you're going to destroy the ruins. Yeah, we're going to I'm just going to keep following you. Asgore is going to kill me. All the children die. It's my final warning. bad at dodging these attacks. How am I supposed to dodge these attacks? through that one. I promise I will take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but we can have a good life here. Why are you making 
making this so difficult. Please, go upstairs. Haha. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. You couldn't think of any conversation topics? No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small. I once, once you get used to them, it would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Goodbye, my child. This f the fucking flower. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you were able to play by your own rules. You were you spared the life of a single person. <laughs> I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die. And you'll die, and you'll die, until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world and let me inherit the power to control it? I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. title card. There's a camera hidden in the bushes. What? Wait, what the fuck? here. <laughs> the old whoopee cushion and the hand trick. <laughs> You're a human, right? <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. <laughs> Uh, 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 I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. Uh, 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 u
But you know. I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus. He's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Quick, behind the conveniently shaped lamp. This song's a banger. <laughs> Sup, bro? You know what? Sup, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing, brother? <laughs> Staring at this lamp, it's really cool. Do you want to look? No, I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one, brother. I will capture a human, brother. Then, I, the great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve, brother. Respect. Recognition. I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard. People will ask to be my friend. I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning, brother. <laughs> hum? <laughs> Maybe this lamp will help you. <laughs> Sands, you are not helping, you lazy bones. All you do is sit and boondoggle. You get lazier and lazier every day. <laughs> hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton? Sands. <laughs> Come on, you're smiling. I am, and I hate it. Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? <laughs> wow, sounds like really working yourself. Down to the bone. Ugh. I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can come out now. <laughs> you ought to get going. He might come back, and if he does, <laughs> you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. <laughs> What's the holdup? Look, there's nothing to be afraid of. It's just a dark cavern filled with skeletons and horrible monsters. Just a conveniently shaped lamp. It's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station, but there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. No, I was hoping if I... What about these two rocks? Okay, maybe those are snowballs, I'm not really sure. <laughs> Actually, hey, hey, to bother you... But could you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been down a kind of lately. He's never seen a human before, and see you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous, even if he tries to be. <laughs> Thanks a million. <laughs> I'll be up ahead. Use the box? Yeah. I'll take the tough glove. I don't know what that is. This is a box. You could put an item inside or take an item out. The same box will appear later on, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. So, as I was saying about Undine...
hands. Oh my god, is that is that a human? <laughs> Actually, I think that's a rock. Oh. <laughs> hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god. Is is that a human? Yes. Oh my god. Sands, I finally did it. Undyne will. I'm gonna. I'll be so popular, popular, popular. <laughs> Human, you shall not pass this area. I, the great papyrus, will stop you. I will then capture you. You will be delivered to the capital. Then, then. I'm not sure what's next. In any case, continue only if you dare. <laughs> Well, that went well. Don't sweat it, kid. <laughs> I'll keep an eye socket out for you. Okay, what happens if I go up? I wanna go up. It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in? Yeah! All that's attached to the end is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me, here's my number. You decide not to call. I don't wanna call. Call me. You send the line back out. It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in. All that's attached to the end is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me, here's my number. You decide not to call. All right. Oh. You make a bad ice pump. Is that supposed to be funny? Smiling at its own bad joke. How's underwear tail going so far, Jesse? It's going great, I think. I'm gonna run away from this thing because I don't really know what I was supposed to do with it. Absolutely no moving. Alright, we're not moving. Check. Not moving. Will, will, will anything happen if I don't move? Not moving. It told me not to move. If I stay here forever, will it never move? <laughs> will it not move if I don't move? All right, we're moving. Oh shit. Look at this fucking thing. Did someone move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. 
if someone was moving, for example, a human, it'll make sure, I'll make sure it never moves again. Yo, we earned so much gold for that. S something pet me. Something that isn't m removing. I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. Someone's been smoking dog treats. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah, brother. Oh, my boy's back. <laughs> hey, here's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move and it won't hurt you. <laughs> Here's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red, so imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? When fighting, think about blue stop signs. <laughs> oh shit, an ice puzzle. North, ice, south, ice, west, ice, east, Snowden Town. And ice. Let's go north. A snowman. Hello, I am Snowman. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you would be so kind, traveler, please take a piece of me to and bring it very far away. Yes. Thank you. Good luck. You got the snowman piece. So lazy. You were napping all night. <laughs> I think that's called sleeping. Excuses, excuses. Oh, the human arrives. In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you will find this one quite shocking. For you see, this is the invisible electricity maze. When you touch the walls of this maze, this orb will administer a hearty zap. Sound like fun? Because the amount of fun you will probably have is actually rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. <laughs> Sands, what did you do? <laughs> I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh, okay. Okay, try now. Incredible, you slippery snail. You solved it so easily, too easily. However, the next puzzle will not be so easy. It is designed by my brother, Sands. You will surely be confounded. I know I am. <laughs> hey, thanks. My brother seems like he's having fun. <laughs> By the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? <laughs> we made that a few weeks ago for a costume party. <laughs> he hasn't worn anything else since. <laughs> Keeps calling it his battle body. Man, isn't my brother cool? <laughs> oh, who are you? I don't understand why these aren't selling. It's the perfect weather for something cold. Oh, a customer. Hello, would you like some nice cream? It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now, just 15 gold. Here you go. Have a super duper day. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> I've been thinking about selling treats too. <laughs> Want some fried snow? Did I say five gold? I'm at 50. I don't have 50 gold. You're right. That's still too low. His. Smell danger. Rating. Snow smell. Snowman. White rating. Can be yellow. Can become yellow rating. What? Snow smell. Snowman. White rating. Can become yellow rating. Unsuspicious smell. Puppy. Blue rating. Smell of rolling around. Weird smell. Humans. Green rating. But it's red. Destroy at all costs. Hers. Oh, so they're his and hers something. Okay. This snowball can be pushed around. Let's get the snowball down here. Oh, there's a hole. Get the snowball in the hole. Oh, God. Yeah. Blue, hopping and twirling. Your original style pulled you through. You are awarded two gold. It looks like a snowball. Actually, it's a snow deck decahedron. I really like sliding on the ice. I don't know why. Human, I hope you're ready for... Sands, where's the puzzle? <laughs> it's right there on the ground. Trust me, there's no way they can get past this one. Oh my god, it's a fucking word search. Hey kids, can you can you help me solve this puzzle? Sands, that didn't do anything. Wh whoops. I knew I should have used today's crossword instead. What? Crossword? I can't believe you said that. In my opinion, Junior Jumble is easily the hardest. <laughs> what? Really, dude? That easy peasy word scramble? That's for baby bones. Unbelievable. Human, solve this dispute. Which is harder, Jumble or Crossword? I meant to say Crossword, damn it. Haha, ha, yes. Humans must be very intelligent if they also find Junior Jumble so difficult. Look, Eric, it's just what came out when I started. When it just it's just what came out when I started making a voice. If they also find Junior Jumble so difficult. No, I don't want promotion for my channel channel. Thank you though. Thank you, thank you for the, thank you for the promotion, but I'm okay. <laughs> Thanks for saying Junior Jumble just to appease my brother. Yesterday he got stumped trying to solve the horoscope. <laughs> Knowing the mouse might one day find it way to the heat up, heat up to the spaghetti, it fills you with determination. It's a note from Papyrus. Human, please enjoy this spaghetti. Little do you know, this spaghetti is a trap. Designed to entice you. You'll be so busy eating it that you won't realize that you aren't progressing. Thoroughly japed again by the great Papyrus. I'm gonna eat the spaghetti. It's a plate of frozen spaghetti. It's so cold, it's stuck to the table. It's an unplugged microwave. All of the settings say spaghetti. Yo, Ratatouille, come out of the hole. Warning. Dog marriage. Why, wait, why is that a warning? Barely lifted your hand unless your dog got excited. Hmm. 
We have spared lesser dog. There's a switch hidden in the snow. Click. There's a switch stuck now. The switch is stuck now. Okay. My Pokemon instincts of just like hitting A randomly. I think I solved that puzzle accidentally. Yeah, I absolutely solved that accidentally. <laughs> What's that smell? Where's that smell? If you're a smell, identify your smell. Hmm. Here's that weird smell. It makes me want to eliminate. Eliminate you. Do dog eye assault you. Dog me. Roll around. You roll around in the dirt and snow. You smell like a weird puppy. Take my wife's fleas. The dog sniff you again. After rolling in the dirt, you smell all right. What? It smells like a... Are you actually a little puppy? The dogs think that you may be a lost puppy. You pet the dog me. Wow, pet by another pup. The dogs think that you might be a lost puppy. You pet the dog Arisa. A dog that pets dogs, amazing. Dog's minds have been expanded. Whew. Got out of that one, all right. Dogs can pet other dogs? A new world has opened for us. Thanks, weird puppy. Turn every X into an O. Okay. What? How did you avoid my trap? And, more importantly, is there any left for me? What do you tell Papyrus about his spaghetti? Left it. Really? Wowie. You resisted the flavor of my home-cooked pasta. Just so you could share it with me. Fret not, human. Our Master Chef Papyrus will make you all the pasta you could ever want. <laughs> My brother started a sock collection recently. How saddening. Sometimes I wonder what he would do without such a cool guy taking care of him. <laughs> okay. We used the nice cream because I had like no health. Human. Hmm. How do I say this? You were taking a long time to arrive, so... I decided to improve this puzzle by arranging the snow to look more like my face. Unfortunately, the snow froze to the ground. Now the solution is different. And as usual, my lazy brother is nowhere around. I suppose what I'm saying is, worry not, human. I, the great papyrus, will solve this conundrum. Then we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle yourself. I'll try not to give away the answers. Sorry, I'm like visualizing it in my head. Okay, no, that was right.
Hey, what's going on, Rebecca? This is my first time playing Undertale ever, and I am learning all about Papyrus and Sands and the cool ghost with the hat. Oh man, the ghost with the hat was sick. Best, best, uh, best moment in the game so far, easily. I did it, Papyrus. E thank you, thank you, and thank you for stopping by. So, you want a hint, huh? Well, I've been looking at the puzzle, and I think the solution is to turn all the X's into O's. You should try that. I ask again for more great hints. No, I did it. Is it... Did I not... Did I not solve the puzzle? I'm confused. Do I need to hit the thing? Oh, there we go. Wow, you solved it. My advice helped. It really helped you. Incredible. I'm impressed. You must care about puzzles like I do. Well, I'm sure you'll love the next puzzle then. It might even be too easy for you. Alright, Papyrus, what do you got for me? Let's go to this next puzzle. Oh, Sans is here. <laughs> Good job on solving it so quickly. You didn't even need my help. Hey, Camp Koenig, what's going on? Which is great, because I love doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> hey, it's the human. You're gonna love this puzzle. It was made by the great Dr. Alphs. You see these tiles? Once I throw this switch, they will begin to change color. Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impassable. You cannot walk on them. Yellow tiles are electric. They will electrocute you. Green tiles are alarm tiles. If you step on them, you will have to fight a monster. Orange tiles are orange scented. They will make you smell delicious. Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through if you like, but if you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Also, if a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will also zap you. Purple tiles are slippery. You will slide to the next tile. However, the slippery soap smells like lemons, which piranhas do not like. Purple and blue are okay. Finally, pink tiles, they don't do anything. Step on them all you like. How was that, understand? Great, then there's one last thing. This puzzle is entirely random. When I pull this switch, it will make a puzzle that has never been seen before. Not even I will know the solution. Get ready. Actually, that spaghetti from earlier, it wasn't too bad for my brother. Since he started cooking lessons, he's been improving a lot. I bet if he keeps it up, next year he'll even make something edible. <laughs> this, is, this is really this is really good stuff. On the floor is a box of Palmer raisins. Aware of dog, please pet dog. Alright, let's, let's pet dog. This dog is staring blankly into the snow, waiting for it to turn into art. Okay, well, I would like to turn that into art for the dog. Oh, I don't know who that is, but they got a fit on. Knowing that dog will never give up trying to make the perfect snow dog. It fills you with determination. Yo, this person got a fit. <sighs> What's the voice for this one? That dog considers itself an artist, but doesn't ever know what to create. 
It probably doesn't help that its brain is the size of a piece of kibble. Oh, okay, we got ice and X's. Okay. It's a lump of snow with the word sands written on it in a red marker. It's a snow papyrus. Let's go. First try. God gamer. Woof. What a tiny doghouse. It's a snow puff. And this, it's a snow puff. This, however, is a snow puff. Surprisingly, it's a snow puff. Snow puff. Is, is it really a snow puff? Behold, a snow puff. Eh, there's 30, go 30 gold inside of it. Give it to me. This is an all gold run. <gasps> Dog. 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 It's the greater dog. Greater dog is too far to be pet. You just pet the air. Oh, okay. I didn't realize it was going to change from blue to white. Uh, beckon. Beckon the dog. It bounced towards you, flecking and slobbering into your face. Oh, all right, calm, dog, calm down. Fairy dog curls up in your lap as it is pet by you. It gets so comfortable it falls asleep. Then it wakes up. It's so excited. Dog got the best of me. The greater dog. We will. Oh, I gotta do the puzzle again. Oh, okay. We're gonna, we're gonna reset that. Okay. All right. That that was that dog. That dog. That was something. All right. All right. All right. All right. We're back in it. We're back in it. We're gonna go back to that dog. We're gonna beckon the dog. We're gonna pet the dog. We're gonna love the dog. It's gonna be great. We're gonna touch all the snow puffs. All right, we're back. We're gonna beckon the dog, and then we're gonna pet the dog and love the dog. And we're going to listen to this sick tune. Oh, right. Blue is stop. Uh, pet. Okay. Falls asleep and then wakes up excited. I don't... Uh, prevents it from petting. Ooh, okay. He's patting with his front paws. Um, play. Make a snowball and throw it for the dog to fetch. It spots on the ground. Greater dog picks up all the snow in the area and brings it to you. Now dog is very tired. It rests its head on you. Want some TLC. Alright, pet. As you pet the dog, it sinks into its entire weight into you. Your movement slows, but you still haven't pet enough. Pet capacity is 
You pet decisively. Pet capacity reaches 100%. The dog flops over with its legs hanging in the air. Oh, it changed it up on me. We got 40 gold. We bested the greater dog. Oh, dog. Doggo pet. Doggo lick. I want to know more about Doggo. We are on bridge now. Thinking about other Doggo. Human, this is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold the gauntlet of deadly terror. Doggo, Doggo, Doggo is hanging by string. When I say the word, it will fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice. Each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it. <laughs> well, what's the hold up? Hold up? What hold up? I'm, I'm about to activate it now. <laughs> that uh, doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge, it seems maybe too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. I am a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair. And my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct, no class at all. Away it goes. Phew. What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus. I don't know what my brother's going to do now. If I were you, I would make sure I understand blue attacks. I'm trying my best over here, Sans, man. There's so much shit. Oh, Snowden. Edward Snowden Town. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. Use the box? Whoa. Say hello. Hiya. Welcome to Snowden. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where did you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? You want to know what to do in here in Snowden? Grillby's has food, and the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there, in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold and set up camp in Snowden. Oh, and don't forget about trying to explore the ruins. The door's been locked for ages, so unless you're a ghost or can burrow under the door, forget about it. Life is the same as usual. A little claustrophobic, but we all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? Uh, tough glow. Weapon plus five attack. Armor seven plus seven defense. I feel like that's good to have. Heals eleven HP times two. I can eat it twice. Okay, we're gonna buy the the manly bandana, and we're gonna we're gonna get the bicycle. And then I'm gonna huh, sell something. Does that look like? Does this look like a pawn shop? I don't know how it works where you come from, but if I started spending money on old branches and used bandages, I'd be out of business in a jiffy.
I have to like... You equip the manly bandana. Okay. We get we got extra defense now. I think that's good. Welcome to the Snowden. Snowden's premier hotel. One night is 80 G. No, that's fucking expensive, brother. Mom says that I'm sleeping. That sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. What's maximum HP? Okay, well, I don't want to pay 80 gold for that. That sounds like a lot. Don't want to walk to the other side of town? Try the under snow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. Oh, they're just like an automatic thing. Oh, okay. Oh. No, we gotta we gotta walk through the Snowden town. A lady over there. Something about it disturbs me. Isn't it my little cin isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bum buns are so adorable. Beep. Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree like horns. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents under a decorated tree. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I could tell, cause you're wearing a striped shirt. This town doesn't have a mayor. But if there's a, ever a problem, I don't know what voice I'm doing for this one. There's too many of these characters. The executioner dogs are here. Dog that can only see when I'm not moving. Or when I'm moving. Greater dog is here. Lesser dog is here. I'm thinking of getting a spiked collar to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, attach a leech to me and take me for a walk, please. You better watch where you sit down in here, kid. Because that big guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and attention. <laughs> said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. Capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to stop moving here. Hmm, I don't want to see the ratio of our local culture, but I definitely want to see some city slickers slip onto their butts. The jukebox is broken. Hmm, isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil. And when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help, I want new drinks and hot guys. Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crisis. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? Was that, was this a library? <laughs> Welcome to the library. Yes, we know. The sign is misspelled. I love working on the newspaper. There is so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. I was younger. My teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. That look in your eye. You're someone that has difficulty solving Junior Jumble, aren't you? It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. This mailbox is labeled Papyrus. Look inside? Yeah, it's empty. It's locked. It's locked from the inside. Well, this doesn't seem good.
Human. Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover, the admiration for another's puzzle solving skills, the desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, I, you shall be lonely no longer. I, the great papyrus, will be your... No, no, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. What? Flirt? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings. Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. I have zero redeeming qualities. Oh no, you're meeting all my standards. I guess this means I have to go on a date with you. Let's date later after I capture you. Papyrus is thinking about what to wear for his date. Oh no, let's date later after I... So you won't fight, then let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack. You're blue now. That's my attack. You're blue now. Let's date later. Papyrus dams marinara sauce behind his ear. Well, I'm not thinking about that date thing. Papyrus Deb's MTT brand bishy cream behind his ear. Hold up longer to jump higher. Jeez. Papyrus Deb's MTT brand anime powder behind his ear. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack. Papyrus Dad's MTT brand cute juice behind his ear. I can almost taste my future popularity. Whoa. Papyrus Dad's MTT brand attraction slime behind his ear. Papyrus, head of the royal guard. Papyrus Dad's MTT brand beauty yogurt behind his ear. Papyrus, unparalleled spaghetti. You eat one half of the bicycle, you recover 11 HP. Undon will be really proud of me. Papyrus is considering his options. The king will trim a hedge in the shape of my smile. Smells like bones. My brother will, 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 he won't change very much. Mm. 
Papyrus prepares a non-bone attack, then spends a minute fixing his mistakes. I'll have lots of admirers, but... Papyrus is preparing a bone attack. Will anyone like me as sincerely as you? Someone like you is really rare. And dating might be kinda hard. After you're captured and sent away. Ugh, who cares? Give up. Papyrus is cackling. Give up or face my special attack. Papyrus is considering his options. Yeah, very soon I will use my special attack. Papyrus is cackling. Not too long and I will use that special attack. I don't think I have any other healing. I don't have a bandage. No! No! I don't mean to equip the tough club! No! 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 What the heck? That's my special attack. Hey, you stupid dog, do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone. Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack. Oh well, I'll just use a really cool regular attack. He is an absolutely normal attack. It's clear you can't defeat me. Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the great papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. Yoo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undine's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the royal guard, and my friend quantity will remain stagnant. Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess, I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowee, we haven't even had our first date, and I've already managed to hit the friend zone. Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You've taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through, and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul. Like you. That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He 
wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is. Well, he's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I am certain if you just say, excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home? He will guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. Damn, this is a good video game. Did y'all know this? Uh, I do think we're going to wrap here. We've been going for two hours. Um, it is Sunday night. I do have work in the morning. I do have some shit I need to do before uh, finishing up for the night. But I think we made good progress. And I'll probably... St I'm not probably. I will stream this again later in the week. Uh, I will stream this whole playthrough. Um, just not all at once. Um, obviously, because we're only like an hour and a half into the game. Um, but yeah, I think this is like a good stopping point. Like, we finished Papyrus. Um, yeah, thanks for joining. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, I'm having a good time with it. Uh, like I said, I'll finish up uh, streaming this game. Uh, but yeah, uh, I hope y'all enjoyed it as much as I did. Um, hell yeah. Uh, yeah, so maybe like Wednesday or Thursday uh, of this week, we'll, we'll continue our journey. I'll tweet it out. Follow me on Twitter. Um, but yeah, thanks for stopping by. I hope y'all enjoyed it as much as I did. And uh, we'll talk soon. Alrighty. Have a good night, everybody. Enjoy, uh, enjoy your Mondays. I gotta find the stop streaming button. Okay, see you later.